Hi guys, Whiskey here and welcome to episode 3 of my Factorio Primer. So, today we are going to talk about balancers. What they are, why you need them, and how to build them. So to start with, let's look at a very simple balancer, one you've probably used before in your game. So what a splitter does is it just takes whatever the input is and it splits it 50% to one side, 50% to the other side. Basically for every two that come in, one goes to each side. As you can see, there's an input of one here. Uh, there's an input along one of the lines and it's split evenly among two. Now let's look at where the system breaks down. So as you can see here, the outputs over here are not even at all. The first output is getting almost all of the input and the lines up at the top are getting slim to none. So what's actually happening here? Well, the input is entering into the first splitter. 50% goes along the first line and then 50% enters the next splitter where again, 50% goes to the first line and 50% goes into the next splitter. So this second line up here only gets half of what the first line does. And the third gets roughly half of that and then it's split between the last two lines. And you might say, well, why is that such a big problem? And it's going to be a little bit later when we start talking about main buses, which is how we're going to construct most of our factories. So let me, sh this is a big long line. You have a main input running through here. And let's pretend that all of these outputs are going to assemblers. And you might already see the problem. This first split here is getting all of the material and the splits later on down the line, later on down our main bus are not getting any. This is obviously a problem. Because if we had a f assemblers up here, we'd be assembling a lot of whatever product one was, but you know, product five is getting nothing or next to no steel. So big problem. So for this, we have balancers. Balancers take an input or inputs and balance it between a different number of outputs. So this right here is one of the most simple balancers in the game. This is a one to three balancers, meaning we have one input, which will split that input evenly among three outputs. And as you can see, we have roughly even output. You know, once you allow for travel time, it's perfectly even. So what if we did this with just splitters? Well, you're going to see that the first line, uh, that's going to get a lot. And then you're going to get 50% on the second and 50% of that on the third. So not an ideal solution. Also, sometimes you get just a, a giant merry-go-round of materials. So that's a very simple balancer. There are a lot of different ways to make these balancers. Another thing that they can do is they can balance the number of inputs uh, to an equal number of outputs. So here we have a three... Oh, I did not mean to do that. We have a three inputs, three output balancer. So let's go ahead and place that down. So right now I've only turned on one of the inputs. And as you can see, it's almost perfectly balancing. In fact, it is perfectly balancing once you allow for travel time. The three outputs with only one input. This is great for, say, smelters, where you might have a in, an uneven input. Your output going to your factories is even. This is going to be actually used a lot when we talk about main buses because what we can do is, you know, halfway through our main bus, we can go ahead, throw in a balancer, and balance the product that is coming to that point in the main bus. So reducing the number of outputs to inputs is actually pretty simple. What we do, so this is a 4 to 2, so this takes 4 inputs and evenly distributes them among two outputs. Very, very simple. And same thing for even greater numbers. Basically, so long as you have an even number of inputs, the just make a roughly triangle-shaped number of balancers with their inputs all hooked together, and you should always get a equal output. 
Now, something that's important to note is that with all of these designs, your throughput may be reduced. Some of them reduce it up to 50%. So let's talk about a few of the more simple balancers. First off, we have a 1 to 4. Notice how that's a nice even number. We're going to get back to that in a second. And this one here is a 1 to 8. So one input enters, and then four outputs are evenly balanced. Now, let's talk about some odd number balancers. This is a 2 to 5 balancer. Notice how nasty this looks, but it'll get the job done. This is something that I would not know off the top of my head. This is something where I would have to reference a guide. Let me find my electrical line. This is something where I would have to reference a line to figure out exactly how to build this. But it does a job decently well. And see, everything's balanced. Now, look back over here. We have a 2 to, I believe this is 8. Yeah, 8 output balancer. So you want to try to stick to even numbers if you can, because the balancers end up being way simpler, in my opinion. And again, that's just a rule of thumb. It's not necessarily always the case. So when I actually start constructing my main bus, I'm going to have two lines running through here. And what you'll find is that oftentimes, I'm going to split off the line and have it come to some assemblers, like right there. And then I'm going to immediately place a 2 to 2 balancer. And this keeps things really simple, really easy to use. But if I were to scale up to, you know, say a mega factory, I might need to have 8 lines and use a, you know, 8 input, 8 output balancer, which can, you know, quickly become complicated. So this is basically a precursor, a, pri a pre-primer to the primer on main buses. Let me know if you guys have any comments or any questions down in the comments. And I do intend to continue this series. I'm not sure how many episodes I'm going to make it. Basically until I cover how to be competent in Factorio. This is my newbie guide. Also in the description, I'm going to have a link to the wiki, which has every type of balancer you could imagine down there. Because quite frankly, I don't remember balancers like the one to three, I mainly remember the even numbered balancers because they're fairly even, easy to keep track of. So, as always, guys, hope to see you next time. Bye.